I've been having excessive bleeding in the hospital about six or seven weeks after the miscarriage. <sighs> it's been rough. Passing out, throwing up. I don't know what's going on. They said they're probably gonna do a DNC just to make sure they get everything out. I felt fine. I felt fine. Everything was fine. What the hell is going on? What the hell's going on? I don't know. So where to stay in my life? Just finished the DNC. I am very weak and tired. It's three o'clock in the morning. They're discharging me. But maybe I hear dinging. My blood pressure is pretty low, so they've been keeping a little eye on me. Lost a lot of blood. It's insane what blood can do for you. And then just losing blood. I feel like I just had a baby. I feel so tired. Blood pressure is pretty low. What's it at right now? Is it 86 over 55? Sound right? Yeah, I'm not reading that backwards. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Weird time. Weird time. I need to figure out what my body's trying to tell me. Because it's something. It's trying to tell me something. Okay, so six or seven weeks after I lose the baby and I miscarry and everything. I am over at my mom's house. feel totally fine. 100% good. And all of a sudden I just start bleeding. Gushing blood. I think to myself maybe it's just my menstrual cycle. Trying to get back on track. Maybe I just had a, like a dip in hormones or something that I just started bleeding. It wouldn't stop. I wouldn't stop bleeding. It was hours and hours. I went through so many pads, underwear, pants, like literally just drenching all of them. Towels, towels and towels. I don't even know how many towels I went through just soaking. Um, <clears throat> finally, I started to get really weak and um, lightheaded and dizzy and not feeling good at all. My mom and dad decided that it was time to take me to the emergency room. So we went to the emergency room. I was definitely hemorrhaging. Um, so random, couldn't figure out why. Um, I had zero fever, no fever, no infection, no odor, nothing. Um, so the Doctors and stuff were kind of confused. They did an ultrasound and said they saw, they felt like they could see a little piece of, they said probably placenta or just something left from the miscarriage. But it's been, you know, a month and a half and I've had zero other signs of this. And then I just start randomly bleeding out. So, um, I, uh, started to lose consciousness uh, at one point and um, throwing up and uh, so they put me on some oxygen and took me up to the OR to do a DNC. Um, it was scary, honestly, because <laughs> I couldn't have anybody with me. 
in the emergency room and through any of it. I mean, I, I felt like I was going to be fine until the one moment when I started to black out, um, lose consciousness and uh, throw up at the same time. I thought maybe that was going to be the end for me. It probably sounds dramatic, but I was very, very scared. Um, I think the, my adrenaline maybe just kicked in and that's why I was throwing up. I don't really know. Honestly, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, so went up, got a DNC and all the bleeding completely stopped. So must have been something to do with that. My blood pressure was pretty low. Um, so, so they monitor me for a little bit and then discharge me early in the morning and I have been resting and sleeping for literally two days straight so I'm not feeling near, near as dizzy today so that's good I stand up or move around and I don't feel like I'm gonna just pass out I, I still feel so tired like the second that I sit back down I just want to sleep again for another few hours but um, I feel like it's a good sign that I am not near as dizzy so I'm going to be taking many iron supplements and chlorophyll and all the things to get my blood supply back up I did not need a transfusion thank goodness um, I told them unless it was absolutely necessary, I didn't want one. Um, uh, so, yeah, I think hopefully, um, as soon as my blood supply and everything gets back to normal, we can hopefully do another transfer. So, I'm hoping it doesn't put us out too far, maybe a couple of months. But, we will see how it all goes, and I'll update you guys on my next visits. And see what they say but anyway weirdest time I don't even know what is really going on in my life but all I know is I'm glad that I'm alive so there's that